there is a fundamental truth that may be found in an astonishing universe, where reality is a colorful canvas that is painted by the strokes of our deepest intentions and wishes. Each of us is a portal. Not only is this a remark that is meant to be interpreted metaphorically, but it is also a literal understanding of our powers and potential. As participants in the drama that is our lives, we are not merely spectators. Rather, we are the writers of the scripts, the directors, and the performers all wrapped into one. When we have a complete understanding of this idea, we are poised on the brink of greatness, ready to take the plunge into a reality that we have created for ourselves. The realization that we are the architects of our own destiny and have the ability to shape our life in any way that we choose is the essential component that will allow us to achieve this magnificent change. One of the most important aspects of the ancient art of alchemy which is frequently veiled in mystery and mysticism, is transmutation, taking the intangible, which includes our thoughts, dreams, and aspirations, and turning them into tangible outcomes is the goal here. The inner and outward worlds of each of us are engaged in a dance during this process. The process begins on the inside, in the realm of thoughts, and imagination, and then it spreads outward, influencing the physical reality that surrounds us. In the process of growing proficient in this dance and becoming skilled alchemists of our own lives, we come to the realization that we are not merely watchers, but rather active participants in the process of creating our reality. The world we live in is a mirror that reflects our ideas and reveals to us the resulting outcomes of our internal processes. As the saying goes, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. This principle highlights the tremendous power that our subconscious mind possesses. Our thoughts are not merely transitory utterances carried on the breeze. Rather, they are the seeds that are planted in the garden that is our human existence. We must first tend to these seeds, cultivating them with enthusiasm, hope, and conviction in order to bring about a shift in the landscape of our existence. When our ideas are in harmony with our most profound aspirations, we take on the role of creators, having the ability to mold our future with every thought that we allow ourselves to consider. It is the divine spark that lights the fire of creation, and imagination is that spark. It is the connection between the world, as it is, and the world that could be with the help of this bridge. People have a tendency to look to the outside world for motivation and direction, but they fail to recognize that the most potent source of power is found within themselves. We start to perceive ourselves in a different way, once we realize that imagination is the foundation upon which reality is built, we are not merely mortals striving against the current of existence. Rather, we are gods in our own right, with the ability to bend the fabric of reality to our desire. There are a great number of people at the bottom of the pyramid, but there are only a handful at the very top. The people who are able to comprehend and control the power of their brains are the ones who go to the top overcoming the restrictions that others are bound by. This ascent is not merely about achieving personal success or gaining personal gain. Rather, it is about reaching our highest potential and becoming the Lord and Master of our own destiny. It is a summons to reawaken the deity that resides within us, to resound with the frequency of creation and manifestation and to assert our rightful position as the masters of our own lives. There is a universe of possibilities that resides within every single person. A limitless space where dreams and reality meet. Being aware of the fact that you are the channel through which your own creation is created is a revelation of astounding power. Having this awareness of oneself opens the door to a life 
in which one is the one who sets boundaries for oneself and restrictions, are nothing more than illusions. You take the first step in a journey that is not only about discovering yourself, but also about creating yourself. When you recognize that you are the sculptor of your own destiny, you have the ability to paint the canvas of your life with colors of your choosing, patterns of your design, and textures that are born from your deepest wishes. Redefining our perspective of reality is the result of coming to terms with the fact that we live in a mental realm. This viewpoint sheds light on the reality that the world we experience on the outside is really a reflection of the enormous and complex network of thoughts and beliefs that constitutes our interior cosmos. By gaining an understanding of this concept, we will be able to liberate ourselves from the constraints that are imposed by our physical bodies. The actual power lies in the mind, in the capacity to shape and mold the ethereal substance of our thoughts into the tangible experiences of our daily lives. This is something that we come to understand as we progress through training. With regard to the grand alchemy of life, ideas are the prima materia, which can be seen as the raw material from which everything is constructed. The realization that our mental and emotional landscapes are the genuine architects of our experience positions us at the center of creation and reveals that we are the creators of our own experiences. The act of actively developing thoughts that connect with our deepest goals is a sacred act of creation that we engage in. We are not only mortals who are striving against the currents of life. Rather, we are alchemists who are able to transform the lead of our worries and doubts into the gold of our hopes and desires. The ability to imagine is not merely a means of escaping reality or expressing one's creative side. Rather, it is the divine language through which we connect with the divine realm. When one imagines, they are able to connect with the very essence of creation and bring themselves into alignment with the cosmic forces that shape reality. As a result of this perspective, we do not regard ourselves as being that were made in the image of the divine. Rather, we see ourselves as manifestations of the divine itself. The ability to conceive is a manifestation of our godhood, a demonstration of our potential to bring about the manifestation of realities and to mold the world in our image. There is a complex ladder of consciousness that people climb throughout their lives, with each rung signifying a higher level of self-awareness and mastery. As we progress up this ladder, we get closer to discovering our own potential and becoming the masters of our own destiny. On this path, we are not seeking to conquer or dominate others. Rather, we are seeking to become aware of the truth about who we are. It is an invitation to walk into our power, to accept our role as co-creators of our universe, and to use the instruments of thinking, emotion, and imagination with the skill and wisdom that they deserve. Being grateful is the last piece of this puzzle that can improve your life. Being grateful means acknowledging that we are the ones responsible for our situations and not the ones who are victims of fate. As within, so without. As above, so below is an acknowledgement of the universal rule of correspondence, which states that as within, so without. By cultivating an attitude of thankfulness, we are able to see and accept our role as the architects of our own world. We are willing to accept complete responsibility for everything that occurs in our life, because we are aware that everything is a reflection of our inner reality. The knowledge that we are the portals through which all reality is manifested gives us the ability to construct our lives with intention and purpose, constantly keeping in mind that we are the gateways through which all reality presents itself.